We are going on with our series on complex numbers and in this video we'll focus on simultaneous equations. So what we want to do is solve the values of x and y simultaneously. We are given two different equations and we notice that both equations have the letter i in them. Now remember i represents the imaginary number of the square root of negative 1. And we want to solve the values of x and y that will satisfy both equations. So I'm going to focus on the equation on the left first. If I expand it, I have xi is equal to y plus 5i minus 5. And what I want to do now is isolate the y, meaning have it alone on one side. So that will be xi minus 5i plus 5 is equal to y. Now what we can do is use this expression for y and substitute the y in our second equation with xi minus 5i plus 5. And when I do that, I have x squared minus 2 times xi minus 5i plus 5, closing that bracket, equals to 5 times 2i minus 1. Notice that y is replaced with the expression for y when we rewrote our first equation. Now the only variable that I have in this new equation is x. So I can multiply out and solve for x. So when I expand, I have x squared minus 2xi plus 10i. Remember the sign change when we multiply negative 2 with negative 5 minus 10 is equals to 10i minus 5. And now I will rewrite this in standard form. So it will be x squared minus 2xi plus 10i minus 10i minus 10 plus 5 equal to 0. And when I simplify, I have a trinomial of x squared minus 2xi minus 5 equal to zero. Now even though this is a trinomial, we cannot factorize it because we have an imaginary number in our second term and also the factors of five will not help us to create minus two i. So what we'd rather do is use the quadratic equation. So that is x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. We need to be careful because the b value is not only negative 2, but it is actually negative 2i. So when I substitute the values of b, I have minus negative 2i plus minus negative 2i squared minus 4. The a value is 1 and the c value is minus 5. And I take the square root of that and I divide that by 2 times 1. Now, when we simplify further, we have plus 2i plus minus the square root of 16 over 2. So let us focus on what happens on the square root. We have negative 2i squared. So negative 2 squared would be plus 4 and i squared would be negative 1. So we have the square root of 4 times negative 1 minus 4 times 1 times negative 5. So that becomes plus 20. And when I simplify, I have the square root of 16. So that is what happens in our discriminant. And we know that the square root of 16 is equal to 4. So therefore, x is equal to plus 2i plus or minus 4 divided by 2. Now I can divide everywhere by 2. So that is x is equal to i plus or minus 2. But normally, we will present our complex numbers by placing the real value first and the imaginary part second. So we'll have x is equals to plus or minus 2 plus i. So therefore, we have two possible values of x. x can be equal to plus 2 plus i, or x can be equal to negative 2 plus i. So we have two possible values of x that will help us to satisfy these equations. Now we can find the values for y. And what we will do is focus on this equation 
where y was equal to xi minus 5i plus 5. When I use that value for y, I have y is equals to xi, which is 2 plus i i minus 5i plus 5. And when I expand, I have 2i minus 1 minus 5i plus 5. And the negative 1 comes from i times i, which is i squared, and that is equals to negative 1. So y would be equal to 4 minus 3i when x is equals to 2 plus i. And we can follow that same process for x equals to negative 2 plus i. So y is equals to negative 2 plus i times i minus 5i plus 5. And when I expand, I have y is equals to 4 minus 7i. So when x is equals to 2 plus i, then y would be equals to 4 minus 3i. And when x is equals to negative 2 plus i, then y would be equals to 4 minus 7i. And that's how we solve x and y simultaneously using complex numbers.